We are back with another video. We have a 2005 Ford Sport Track with the 4.0 liter engine. I just put an engine in this thing. It runs great, but now it's not charging. So I know this vehicle has been setting a long time. I can tell just by looking at it. So I'm not sure if it's um, the alternator. I was moving around a lot of wires in here and basically took the wiring harness off to replace the engine, just did all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna diagnose a alternator not charging, but we're not just gonna do it the simple way. Well, it might be simpler to me because I try to get a lot of data at once. We're gonna hook a scope up to all of these wires on the alternator. Now, there is basically one, two, three, four, there's five wires going to this alternator. You got your B plus, which is your main charging wire, which is the fat red one. You have a battery sense wire that basically tells the computer if the battery's charging, you have a ground, you have another control wire. There's several, there's like five, I can't remember, but I have a, on shop info, I have a list of what each wire specifically should read. So I'm gonna to try to get this little Ford Sport Track fixed up. This is the last thing on it. And I thought I'd make a quick video on diagnosing an alternator, not charging, uh, sort of more of a in-depth wire by wire. So let's get it. So I have the scope hooked up to every wire on the alternator and each wire, here's a description of what each wire does. The uh, light green and red wire is the ignition circuit is used to turn on the voltage regulator. This circuit is powered up with the ignition switch on. So right off, I, I do see a problem with this yellow and white wire. This is the, the A circuit or battery sense circuit is used to sense battery voltage. So there's no, no voltage even on. So this brown trace on channel D is actually hooked up to this yellow wire. If you go down here with the ignition switch off, if you see there, yellow and white, we should have 12 volts. So let's figure out first off why we don't have 12 volts with the ignition switch off on the yellow and white wire. So, so as you can see, I have my wires all hooked up to the plug-in to the back of the alternator. And this green wire, or this trace, is the one that's on channel No, actually it's on channel C, so I'm sorry. So channel C has zero volts. So we gotta figure out why. I was looking around and just doing a visual inspection and I could see this wire looks like, I mean, that looks corroded to me. I bet if I pull this wire and this is the yellow and white wire right here coming out. Oh yeah, there it is. Look at that. Definitely not good. I'm gonna have to splice this back in and retest. Okay, so I just temporarily clamped the wire to the positive and before we actually make a solid repair just for testing. And we should have, just to be clear, we should have 12 volts when the ignition is off on that wire. And 
And now, as you can see, we're all the way up to 12 volts. So now, before when I started it, you know, the battery light was on because there was no, the charging system wasn't working. So we have zero volts on the red, zero volts on the brown, and zero volts. So that's what we should have with the ignition off. So if we turn the ignition on, ignition on, we should have one to three volts on the light green with the red stripe and zero volts on the white and black, 12 volts on the yellow, which is the one we just fixed. And that's the generator positive, the big wire. I've already checked that one. It always has 12 volts. And when it's running, it should have 13 to 15. All righty, let's check it out with the ignition on. Now we're looking for one to three volts on the light green and red wire. So that is. And doesn't look like we actually have that. And then we're supposed to have 12 volts on the yellow and white, which we do. That's this one. And then we're supposed to have the engine running 13 volts. So let's just go ahead and crank it and see what's happening here. And we still have a charging light. Got to figure out why that is. We got to look into it a little more. So what I discovered is we're actually shorted to ground. I'm hooked up to the light green and red wire. And then the other side is hooked up to the ground. So when I turn this on, what I found is it's shorted right to ground. It's getting continuity right to ground. See, it's a dead short to ground. Okay. I just put an engine in this thing and I'll actually show you here is the old engine right here this is the old engine and right here is where the alternator sits and that wiring harness actually runs down through here and down there's a big huge bracket that bolts in here and here and the wiring harness runs right through here What's the chances that I pinch that wiring harness somewhere in this area and it's shorted to ground? I bet you I'm gonna to have to take off this uh, big bracket that holds on the alternator and the power steering pump and basically inspect the wires. Oh, great. Well, look what I found. I pulled that back and sure enough, I'm an idiot. It pinched the wire right there. Uh, well, I should have been more careful, but I'm glad I found it. Let's repair this, get it put back together, and see if our charging light goes out. Okay, here's the wire. I pulled the whole harness out from behind the alternator, and we are going to repair this wire.
Okay, I've got it all put back together. I've repaired the wire. Our battery light is not on. And I got this scope up and running. So what we're looking at here is we got, I got three wires plugged into the back of this connector right here. It's channel I, A, and then this is pin two. This is basically the same wire. So you're gonna get the same signal. It just basically goes, loops out and back in to the alternator. So. signal wire here it's a voltage feedback signal it, it tells the cluster to turn off the battery light that the system is working normally. That's it. All that for a pinched wire. And uh, you might say, well, why do you hook up all these wires just to determine? Because I want to do it fast. I want to see all the, all the signals at once. And uh, that way I can fix them faster. I, I just believe it's quicker to look at all the inputs and outputs that I can. You know, this circuit's a little bit confusing on alternators. They all work a little bit differently. But, um, yeah, uh, if y'all enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.